Hey YouTube, it's Justin Cofield, your Austin, Texas area realtor. I'm in Kyle, Texas in the Six Creeks community. We're looking at Taylor Morrison Homes today. This is the Courtney model, one of their model homes here. Beautiful home coming in at 3,388 square feet. They've done a great job with the landscaping. It's beautiful. One of the things that I want to show you, and I'm usually not a fan of this, I'm usually not a fan of courtyards, but I actually like this one. There's a small courtyard as you come through this archway here, and it's set up as a little sitting area. There's some uh, good, good light, but also some good shade, and it just seems kind of cozy and fitting. I like it. Uh, I don't always like courtyards, but I do like this one. We approach the front door. There is a very uh, modern look steel door here. Very heavy, but but also very like strong and very inviting, um, full of windows so natural light can pour in. As you come into the entry entryway, it's it's nice and wide. There's a lot of good space. Um, there's rooms on either side, but we're going to push through all the way to the center of the home because I want to see that first, and then we'll come back to these rooms towards the end of the video. As we come into the uh, living and kitchen area, these ceilings are so tall. I mean, it just makes the room feel gigantic. Um, beautiful, beautiful fireplace, family room. Uh, you've got lots of windows uh, along the back wall, letting that natural light pour in. This kitchen is gorgeous. We'll look at it in detail here in just a few minutes. Very open, um, but very elegant feeling. Really, really nice finishes here to move through to look at the dedicated dining space. I also love that this is not kind of a shotgun layout. I love that there is some dimension to it. Uh, I really think that that makes a space feel open without it feeling uh, like a big box. So I love that there's kind of some angular dimension here. There's just windows and windows and windows and windows and windows. They keep going on and on and I love that. Um, really you don't even need light fixtures in this house because there's so much natural light. What a great place for gathering around. There's a trade ceiling here to make this room feel open and airy. I want to step out onto this porch. I would almost call this like a nook porch, not because it's small, but because it's got walls on three sides uh, and it stares out into the backyard. They have tile on the, uh, the floor, tile on the foundation there uh, to give it a little more um, elegant feel but plenty of room for out, outdoor kitchen if you'd like, or to hang a TV and then look at that big, beautiful Texas sky. It's a gorgeous day here in Austin, Texas. We're gonna head back in, take one more look. You've got your uh, triple sliding glass door there. You could literally um, double your uh, entertaining square footage and um, open up that family room and it could be a really, really cool spot. Let's go back in. I wanna have a look at the kitchen in detail. And as you walk in, the first thing I come to is this pantry. I want, to, I want you to see this pantry. It goes on for days. This pantry is huge. Shelves all the way around. You can walk in. This could be a, a whole other room. I mean, it is a whole other, other room, but tons and tons of storage in that pantry. It's incredible. I love the uh, double uppers here that go all the way up to the, uh, the, the top. I think that adds a really elegant look. I think that this back wall with all your appliances on it, kind of have, having a built-in look, makes it feel very uh, custom, very luxury. And I really like the color on these cabinets. We'll come back to that in a minute. Great, great kitchen. Um, j just really opens the room up and, and very uh, elegant feeling. Also, the tile on the fireplace there, you'll catch a glimpse of it. Really tasteful. We'll head back here to the owner's suite. We'll turn left and it's right down this hall. I really like the floors in here. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There's a trade ceiling in this owner suite with rear facing windows, tons of natural light. And yes, there is a couch. I love a couch in an owner suite. I have a couch in my owner suite. I use it all the time to, to sit and read, to take naps on, to watch TV on. Uh, sometimes I like to sit on a couch instead of laying on the bed. I like a couch, I think it's cool. Uh, we've got double entry into the owner's bathroom. There is double vanity here. Your soaking tub next to the window, which I love. The uh, tile in here is very cool, uh, both in the shower and on the floor. I think they did a great job in the finishes on this home. And of course, this is one of their flagships. They're going to do it upright, but just the capability that they have to do it is really cool. I think Taylor Morrison um, did a great job here. You've got your linen closet, your toilet closet, and then I want you to check out this shower. 
This is a dual head shower and uh, the tile is cool as I mentioned a minute ago, but there's also a window in it. I've never seen a shower with a window and I couldn't figure out why there was a window here until it dawned on me. They put a window here to let natural light into the shower, which is great. There's a little shelf here to put, you know, soaps and lotions and whatever you want on. But there's a window into the bathroom to let in natural light. As I said, dual uh, shower heads in here. Great big open walk-in shower. I really like it. I think it's kind of different, kind of funky, kind of cool. We want to step back to the very rear of this bathroom into the owner's closet. This is a huge, huge closet. Lots of space in here. Uh, they have it set up as all hanging space with uh, shelves on top. There could be um, built-in shelves done here. There's plenty of room for that. If you wanted to have someone in, come in and design a closet for you, it could easily be done in this uh, closet. It, it's huge. We'll go back through the owner's suite. I want to walk back through and see the rest of this home. Take one last glance at this really cool bathroom. We'll walk back through the owner's bedroom. Wish I could take a nap on that couch, maybe later. And we'll head back into the family room. Actually, we're not. And that's what I forgot about this house. This house has a really cool kind of secret pathway. This pathway runs parallel to the entryway of the home. And it it's like the pathway that you get to uh, the secondary bedrooms and um, the, uh, the front portion of the home. There's a, there's a linen closet here. We'll peek in there. A small linen closet here. This, this house does not lack in linen closets and storage. There's tons of storage in this home. But as you walk into this area here, it's a little kind of <clears throat> secondary living area, bonus area. Th those windows are facing the courtyard that we went through when we came in. But you could use this as a kid's playroom, have it set up with a desk, homework. It could be a secondary living area. It could be an office. It could be a lot of things. And then these bedrooms kind of shoot off of this main room. So this is your bonus suite at the front of the house. It's got front facing windows, nice size room. That's a king size bed. I'm sorry, that's not, it's a queen size bed, but it's a great size room. Uh, it's got a good size closet. I wanted to say it was a walk-in. It's not a walk-in closet, but it's still a good size closet and it has its own bathroom. Uh, it is a full bath with a shower tub combo. Look at the tiles on this shower. I really like these tiles. They're kind of like really chic looking. I think coupled with the square tub as well, it gives it a really modern chic look. Very cool. So this is your bonus suite because it's got its own bathroom. And we'll check out these other two bedrooms as well that shoot off this uh, secondary living area. Oh, it's a double closet. That's what it was uh, in that bedroom. This other bedroom, <clears throat> nice size bedroom, side facing window. It has a walk-in closet with a window. And I love that. As I've said before, I don't see it very often. Closet, uh, or closet with a window gets all the natural light so you can see everything and it's really cool. Uh, but it doesn't always work out in the plans. Kind of nice to see it when it does happen. I like that. This bedroom shares a Jack and Jill bathroom with the other secondary bedroom. But this is the only way to do a Jack and Jill. When you've got a Jack and a Jill, I love how they have the vanity separate from the toilet and shower area. Double vanity in here so people can be brushing their teeth, fixing their hair, getting ready in the morning while someone is taking a shower or doing other business like to have those two things separate when you've got a Jack and Jill. That's a nice touch, nice feature there. Way to go, Taylor Morrison. And this is the fourth bedroom in this home. It's got a little soccer theme, side facing window, and just a, I can't remember where the closet is. It's, yes, double uh, entry closet. I like that, gives you more space, gives you more access. Take one last look at this secondary living kind of bonus area here, trade ceiling with a ceiling fan, makes it feel nice and big, natural light into the courtyard. We'll head back down the secret pathway. I wanna check out the rest of this house. I wanted to say one more thing about the kitchen. The kitchen cabinets, I love the color on these kitchen cabinets. It's not black, it's not blue, but it's somewhere in between. And it just has a really like, warm cozy 
feel to it. I don't know what it is. It just feels like um, peaceful. And I really like that color. It's, it's kind of muted. It's really a great color. There's a mud area here. It's painted that same color, in fact. That would be the entry into the garage. We'll check that out here in a sec. There's a big coat closet, a linen closet, and a gigantic laundry. Look at that folding table, counter, storage, cabinets, sink, all of it. That's the kind of laundry room I love to see. Even has a window facing the side yard. There's your linens. And then you've got a double door coat closet for storage, Christmas decorations, whatever you want. As I said before, this house does not lack in storage and closet space. It's got a lot. I want to take a peek into this garage because it's kind of unique as well. I thought it had a kind of a neat feature to it. If you're a uh, garage rat and like to spend time in the garage, this is the garage for you. It's a two car garage, but it has kind of this extra space at the front. It'd be a great space for um, some built in shelves. It would be a great space for a workbench, a tool bench. It would be a great space for um, workout equipment, weights, uh, maybe a treadmill or a bike, uh, bike storage. It, it, it has, has a lot of uses, uses, but I think it was a great feature on Taylor Morrison's part to kind of have this little extra spot in the garage uh, for all the things. So if you are into working in the garage, this might be the garage for you. I really liked that feature. I thought it was cool. Also kind of cool that this laundry is kind of tucked back here behind the kitchen. I like that it, it's just kind of hidden back here. It's a nice feel. Okay. We're going to head to the front of the house. There's a couple more rooms we need to check out. Back through this entryway. We're going to go to the right. There is a dedicated office space and bathroom here. Also, you guessed it, another linen closet. Lots and lots of closets. No, not a linen closet. Coat closet. Still, it's a closet. We've got a half bath here at the front. As I said, it's a four bedroom, three and a half bath. Pretty standard, but also elegant for guests to use. And you've got a dedicated office space here at the front. Trade ceiling, windows facing that courtyard. This office is pretty good size. It's big enough to be kind of a, a double office if you wanted to set up two desks in here. Um, if you wanted to do that, you could also make it a playroom. It could also be a sitting room. It could be a library. It could be lots of things. There's not a closet in the room. There is one right across the hall. And it has um, doors with windows in them so you can see through. So it's not, not really a bedroom. And then across the entryway is our third living area. Yes, there are three living areas. This is set up as a media room, primarily because there's no windows in this room. It, it can be nice and dark for family movie night, uh, video game night, uh, kind of whatever you want it to be. It could be a workout room. It could be that as well. It could be a lot of things, but they've got it set up as a media room. Nice size, built-in speakers there in the wall. Um, but great, great house by Taylor Morrison here in the Six Creeks community in Kyle, Texas. Want to take one last look at it. Guys, please be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I do new videos uh, every week of new construction in and around Austin, Texas. If I can help you in any way, please reach out. Please ask questions if I can get more information. If you're getting ready to move, let's talk. Let's make a plan. I want to help you and assist you the best way that I can. So my contact info is in the show notes. Uh, I've got email. I've got phone number. You can text. You can call. You can shoot me an email. Whatever you want to do, I want to help you find what you're looking for. And um, I just appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.